couple of weeks ago I ordered this gadget from AliExpress and it's around 3 US dollar and it's great and it's awesome and it's a multifunctional rechargeable LED flashlight with couple of functions and many of you comment that I need to open it and see the capacity of the battery see the electronics inside and of course here I am to salute for you so let's do it I'm gonna open it it have a bunch of screws and we're gonna check the capacity of the battery real quick just to tell you that this thing have front highlight low flashing and at the same time you can rot rotate this flashlight okay on top at front sorry we have a small LED display that shows the percentage of the battery and on bottom we have two strong magnets so you can attach to metal surface you can see the electronics and the LEDs it have a clip it have a type-c charging port also it's a power bank that can help in emergency and when you hold the button it has warm, warm white light red blue and flashing police and turn it off by the way new video every day so subscribe and hit like this gadget or this module that i reviewed yesterday it's awesome all the links for the products will be in the description below so you can check it battery and let's see the capacity 1200 milliampers 3.7 volts and that is pretty nice that's why this thing will last much longer from other flashlights okay let's open the PCB now also some of you comment that when you rotate the front light the wires are rotating also but no take a look it's beautiful okay okay they put only one screw on the PCB but there are four places for the screws I don't know why Here it is the PCB. Okay, we have the integrated chip for charging the battery, which is nice. And this chip that doesn't have numbers are for the LED effects. Oh, and now I'm gonna desolder one of the wires from the, the battery and turn on my power supply and see how much current are pulling this LED so we can see the the watts all right the battery is removed Instead, I soldered positive and negative wire and I'm gonna hook up on my power supply. I set the voltage on 4 volts. Positive to positive, negative to negative. Okay. And right now I'm gonna turn on the front light. Whoa. Too much. And it's pulling 1 ampere. That means at high beam these two LEDs are giving 4 watts beautiful 
one more this is low beam 400 milliampers 1.5 watt and the flashing okay and the front light when you hold it these warm LEDs are pulling 330 milliampers that is 1.3 watts light of light this is the red one 48 milliampers and the blue one also 42 and the both of them all right so now we know how much are these front LEDs 4.2 watts of light putting back the lithium battery okay negative this is the positive beautiful and I'm gonna place this foam just for protection put it back the battery put it back the, the lid okay let's put the back the screws I drop a screw oh it, it will be hard to find it Let's try it. Oh, nice. Beautiful. And just letting you know, I'm working on new code projects for this color 128 by 128 LCD display using a ESP Arduino board. And this one is a thermometer come on man and I'm using this NTC sensor for reading the temperature but take a look the graphics it's pretty cool with analog meter and digital numbers how nice is that also to inform you that I work also new code for this guy which is pretty awesome and I like it this is beautiful ESP32 module with round screen I made a couple of codes that I will upload on the new video very soon alright that was all for today video please give a like share and subscribe to my channel. See ya. Oh, oh, I have a new friend on my on my table. Ooh, do you know who is this?